To continue with section 3.2 on the mean value theorem, this is part two. The mean value theorem specifically says that F be a function that satisfies these hypotheses. F is continuous on the closed interval A to B, F is differentiable on the open interval A to B, and there is a number C in the open interval A to B, such that F prime of C is equal to F of B minus F of A divided by B minus A, or we could write it as F of B minus F of A is equal to F prime of C times B minus A. And we could see that going on in these two pictures that we have here. We have that same slope based on the slope between A and B. We could see that in both of these two pictures. So for example, four, we want to apply that mean value theorem to F of X is equal to X cubed minus X with A is zero and B is two. You can see that going on here in the graph we have in the lower right hand corner. Um, so this is differentiable and continuous since this is a polynomial. That does make our life easier. So for our mean value theorem then, we need to solve this. F of two minus F of a zero is equal to F prime of C times two minus zero. So um, when we put in two into this function, for f of two, we get a value of six. If we put in zero to our function, we get a value of zero. And we also know if we were to take the derivative of this function, we get three x squared minus one. So we could solve this as six is equal to three c squared minus one times two which is just 6c squared minus 2. So solving for c, uh, we will get c squared is equal to 4 thirds, which means that c is positive or negative 2 divided by the square root of 3. Um, but because we have the values between 0 and 2, this would just be the positive version of this, which again matches that slope we have in the graph. Uh, for example, five, we want to suppose that f of zero is equal to negative three, f prime of x is less than or equal to five for all values of x. We want to know how large can um, f of two possibly be? So based upon what we know on here then, there is the limited information, we could tell that f is differentiable and continuous. So to apply this mean value theorem, we need to do f of two minus f of zero is equal to f prime of c times two minus zero. So in our case, we can move over the f of zero. So f of two would be equal to f prime of c times two plus f of zero. So in our case, that'll be equal to negative three plus two times F prime of C. Since we know that F, of, F prime of X is less than or equal to five, we also know that F prime of C must also be less than or equal to five, which then means that this two times F prime of C must be less than or equal to 10 when we multiply the left and right side by five. So this means that F of two would be equal to negative three plus two times F prime of C. This has to be less than or equal to negative three plus 10, which means a value of seven. That was part two of our section uh, 3.2 material. Be on the lookout for part three. Thank you.